Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Jacqueline Matter. Thanks for joining us tonight. Top in our news, Sarasota County Sheriff's deputies are looking for a bank robber tonight. Deputies first responded to the Wells Fargo branch on Bee Ridge Road around 1030 this morning. Bank employees say the robber passed a note to a teller demanding cash, then ran off towards Doctor's Hospital. Witnesses say he's white, about five foot eight, with dirty brown hair and a tattoo of a teardrop under his left eye. He's last seen wearing an olive green T-shirt with a long sleeve black shirt underneath and a gray hat with red trim. The Manatee County School District wants to build a new elementary school in Parrish, but today commissioners say safety needs to be the district's first priority. ABC 7's Taylor Torregano was at that meeting today. She joins us live from Bradenton tonight. With more on the story, Taylor. Good evening, Scott. Jacqueline, the meeting here went for several hours as the school district and commissioners discussed this proposal. We also got the chance to hear from numerous neighbors who say this has the potential to be a traffic mess. Uh, or at least it's been there since that. They don't need to come on to the school campus to start shooting. Commissioner Charles Smith says the school district hasn't done enough to ensure the safety of the students on this future campus. But during this meeting to discuss the North County Elementary School proposed in Parrish, the district says it can't make the school any safer. We've designed this as a linear wall where you can see down the entire side of the building. We've got the playground play area, I should say play area, visible from the main road. So something's going on. People are passing by. They can they can see this. The 20 acres on Moccasin Wallow Road and 115th Avenue East is near 9,200 housing units already built or approved. So there's there's certainly a need for, for uh, another school. People who live nearby say the increased traffic to the school will be too much for the surrounding roadways. This looks like a total mess to us. Uh, I, I just can't imagine with the traffic we have now and the new amount of people that will be using that road 115. Even with crossing guards in the traffic light, you're, you're looking at a nightmare. Both Gary Agnew and Joanne Serency live in the Copperstone neighborhood. Manatee County is congested enough. When we're building all of these developments, we need to think about the infrastructure. You know, how are people going to get in and out? And Marcus and Wallow is two lanes. They're talking about six lanes, but when? Commissioner you know, Carol Whitmore says other in schools in the county, county make similar two-lane roads work. It only lasts for an hour. Yeah. If that, so that's all I have, and I'm going to support this um, this project. The commission voted four to three to approve the district's plans today, and construction has already begun on the school, which is expected to open in August of next year. I'm live in Manatee County, Taylor Torgano, ABC7, your Sun Coast News. All right, Taylor, thank you so much. Well, we had a brush fire. Uh, 12 acres down in Charlotte County mm -hmm. today. Firefighters have it under control, but again, it shows you how dry it has been around here. Let's get more with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Yeah, extreme danger in Charlotte County right now as far as fires go. High danger in Manatee and Sarasota counties as well, but there is some relief on the way. It's a double-edged sword in that we are going to see some rainfall, but we could see some isolated thunderstorms, which obviously generate lightning, which can uh, spark these fires very rapidly, so we'll keep an eye on that for you over the weekend. Boy, this is looking healthy in terms of outflow on the northern edge here. It looks rather tropical to me. Uh, luckily, we're in here in May as opposed to August or September. We'll be dealing with a hurricane more than likely, but uh, this is a low pressure area heading our way. On top of that, a front is headed our way. Both these systems are going to meet in the middle, right, on, right over Florida, it looks like, on Saturday and Sunday, bringing with it a pretty good chance for showers and storms. Now, it doesn't appear to be a washout at this point. Scattered activity looks to be more likely beginning late Saturday and continuing on into Saturday night. Uh, some showers down south in the Bahamas right now. Here's the forecast model. We'll take you through time. Friday looks good. Uh, we'll see similar conditions that we saw today, but here comes the low pressure area. These lines are low pressure, and at one point it closes off right there by southeast Florida, uh, indicating that we may see a surface low move right through the state. Well, more on that coming up in a few minutes. Back to you. Thank you, Bob. Happening today, a massive storm drill in South Florida. Florida Power and Light running through a mock hurricane to see what changes need to be made before June 1st. The official start of the hurricane season. FPL employees simulating their response to a fake Category 3 storm called Hurricane Cobalt. Employees also testing out technology they can use during restoration efforts following a storm. 
Sarasota County already making changes to get ready for hurricane season, announcing today a new transportation plan to help people and their pets get to evacuation centers. The transportation plan will only be activated when they declare an emergency in the county and they open evacuation centers. For more information on how to register for that free emergency transportation service, make sure to visit our website at mysuncoast.com and search for this story. And next week, the county is hosting a flood zone workshop. It's open to anyone who wants to learn about flood zones, maps, regulations. County officials will go over mandatory insurance requirements and why flood zones are continuously updated. That free workshop will be on Tuesday from 10 in the morning until noon at the Selby Library in downtown Sarasota. A massive revitalization project is underway along Seaboard Avenue in Venice. While the city says no businesses will be forced to relocate, many owners are not convinced. The city says they're working to create a tax incentive to help businesses either move or remodel their buildings to change their looks. Tremendous potential in this area for make a lot more out of it and give all the residents of Venice and surrounding areas an opportunity to come here and really enjoy more of it. The city is now looking to the Economic Advisory Board to come up with ways to implement the tax incentive. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, an update on the deadly romaine lettuce E. coli outbreak after the first death is reported. Chances that you're going to hit uh, what they call the DNA lottery um, are getting better. Plus, with DNA testing on the rise, how people are reconnecting with family they didn't even know they had. My name is Julius. I have cerebral palsy. I work for Farmer Jaffe Weising Law Firm. I do a lot of data entry and scanning documents. I want to increase my working experience to make the company much better. At the end of the day, it's good to think of the day's work and to think about what I have accomplished. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. My California Closets experience has been wonderful. My mother's a huge inspiration. Before she passed away, she would say, you should do something special for yourself. First time I saw my closet, I immediately thought, this is the best thing I've ever done for myself. I call it my Tiffany style closet. I mean, I can shop in my own closet every day. I love that. My name is Cynthia, and this is my California Closet story. When money's tight and emergencies arise, CashNetUSA.com is available 24-7 to deliver quick loans for approved customers when they need it the most. Apply now at CashNetUSA.com. Money's on the way with CashNetUSA. Accolades are great. Just wait until you see our prices. Rugs as Art, Sarasota's only area rug superstore. Since 2004, Embracing Our Differences has used the power of art and education to promote diversity. One way it accomplishes this is through its annual outdoor exhibition of 45 billboard-sized works of art, each accompanied by an inspirational quote. Join us in creating a community that is inclusive for all, where differences are embraced and individuality is celebrated. We invite you to celebrate the voices and visions of diversity and inclusion at this year's exhibit at Sarasota's Island Park. Picking out a new ceiling fan? That's a do-it-yourself. Installing your new ceiling fan? No. That's a don't do-it-yourself. For ceiling fans, rewires, or anything electrical, play it safe. And call on the trained electricians from your locally owned Mr. Sparky. It's no accident that so many of our customers are repeat customers. You Trust Mr. Sparky for all your electrical repairs. Army National Guard soldiers serve to give back to their country and their community. Their part-time commitment qualifies them for benefits such as health and life insurance, education benefits, and retirement and VA home loan benefits. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more.
A savage strain of E. coli spread on romaine lettuce has killed one person in an outbreak that is affecting now 25 states and more than 120 people. There are no current cases here in Florida. Health officials have tied the E. coli outbreak to romaine lettuce grown in Yuma, Arizona, which provides romaine around the country during the winter and limited areas during the spring. So the lettuce on your grocery shelves is likely not from Yuma, but the Centers for Disease Control recommends throwing any romaine lettuce of unknown origin away. One local nutrition counselor stresses it's usually new developed strains of E. coli over that time that cause this type of damage. What's true is that E. coli has mutated as a result of animals eating genetically modified foods. And so we're seeing a variety of E. coli that is not natural to the human body. We have E. coli in our gut. You do, I do, everybody does. But we have a mutated form of E. coli that then becomes a threat to our health as food poisoning. She also says that only romaine was affected, so if you wanted to take extra precautions, just switch to another type of lettuce for the time being. Police are warning people in Punta Gorda of gas skimmers. Recently, they found some at the mobile gas station on the corner of 41 and Burnt Store Road. One of the pumps at the gas station had a skimmer, which has since been removed. A better chance of rain this weekend. Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan has the forecast next. Everybody can make something because I think everyone has a spark of creativity and the reason that I have to keep making is because I don't think my life would be as fulfilling without it. If you make things yourself, that means you're not cowering in fear. You're out there taking chances. That, I think, is my way of saying I love you to the world. All right, now I want to hear why you make. Share your own Why I Make story today. Visit whyimake.org. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G. Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. So I kind of grew up all across the country. I come from five generations of military men. My dad is still active duty. My grandpa is retired Marines. I like going for runs with my dog. I love, you know, taking her out to the dog beach over in Venice. There are so many things here to do on the Sun Coast. My goal every day when I come into work at ABC7 is to tell your stories, give you that major local news and those details that you really care about. I'm Jacqueline Matter and I'm here for you. My California classes experience has been wonderful. My mother's a huge inspiration. Before she passed away, she would say, you should do something special for yourself. First time I saw my closet, I immediately thought, this is the best thing I've ever done for myself. I call it my Tiffany style closet. I mean, I can shop in my own closet every day. I love that. My name is Cynthia, and this is my California closet story. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. All of a sudden, we heard some kind of explosion. Watch Good Morning Sun Coast weekdays on ABC7. There are two alarm fire that our Marla Spence was called out on. Crews are still on scene. We're going to continue to work on this story and find out more on what caused this fire. Weekdays starting at 5 a.m. Well, Bob, I know we've been talking about how dry it is outside, but it uh, looks like there might be some chances for rain in the future. Yeah, pretty good chance of some showers and some thunderstorms. And unfortunately, thunderstorms can create fires, mm -hmm. especially this time of year. They uh, usually do do that, uh, especially when we're as dry as we are. Uh, here's a look at a beautiful day on the beach again. It looks like we had another day of that. Uh, gorgeous weather, east winds uh, bringing in some a nice clear crystal clear water conditions there up and down west central Florida as a result of lack of rainfall and easterly wind flow. Uh, the fire danger remains extreme for Charlotte County. That's where we had the fire today in Punta Gorda.
Brush fire quickly picked up in very high conditions as far as that fire danger goes into Manatee County. Sarasota in the high category right now. The forecast tomorrow is, is calling for this to go back down to very high, but uh, also Harding DeSoto will be included in that high category along with Sarasota tomorrow. Uh, good news is we may get some rainfall and a pretty good chance of that happening as a result of this low pressure area. Now it's an upper level low and also the conditions are not favorable for this to de develop into anything significant as far as a tropical storm goes or anything like that, but it will bring tropical moisture our way and create enough instability in the atmosphere to bring us uh, some rainfall. We've had some low clouds around earlier. Those clouds continue to stream off from the east to the west and uh, as far as the headlines, they read like this. Another 90 degree day tomorrow uh, for mainly places away from the beach and then increasing rain chances for the weekend, especially late Saturday afternoon, Saturday night and then scattered about on Sunday and then uh, they'll linger. The rain chances will linger right on into early next week as a result of a frontal system just kind of hanging around with well, the dry airs in place right now. That's uh, keeping us uh, pretty sunny throughout most of the day tomorrow. This will though eventually move out of here, allowing some of that tropical moisture to move in. Some rainfall down to our south right now already in South Florida and over the northern and central Bahamas. Not a lot, but they'll see that increasing throughout the next uh, 48 hours. Our current conditions sunny 88 degrees after a high today of 90. The humidity 35% very low. Uh, this picture from the upper Ma Mayaka Lake uh, sent in from Lewis Garish and uh, beautiful shot there. Lewis appreciate it. 91 the high. 95 the record again that was set in 1990 so only four degrees shy of that big storms again following this front this is the front that will get close to us and kind of hold up stationary right across central florida on into a uh, sunday and into monday this is one forecast model there's actually two models here this one uh, is a high resolution model showing and depicting some pretty heavy weather uh, with this low pressure heading toward the bahamas and that only lasts for about 24 hours that model only runs out 24 hours but then after that we start to see more moisture moving on in in as a result of this all kind of moving off from the west northwest you can see that we lose that model but i think there'll be heavier storms around that center and then a best chance for rain comes late saturday afternoon and then again on sunday some scattered showers and storms as that front gets down close to us on into sunday well as far as uh, storms go there's a chance at 30 percent for scattered thunderstorms on saturday afternoon no chance for any kind of tornadic activity temperatures really warming up uh, for tomorrow high of 91 expected in washington tomorrow and into the 70s behind that front over the northern plain states as far as we're concerned we'll see right around 90 degrees for a high now the seven day forecast uh, on friday we look for 88 degrees by the way uh, on friday the hurricane expo in venice begins at 9.30 a.m. and goes until 3 p.m. That's also for Saturday, same time, at the Venice Community Center. Free admission. There'll be plenty of pl uh, presentations going on. I'll be presenting from 11 a.m. until uh, 11, I should say 11 a.m. to 11.30 there on Friday and Saturday. And then we'll see showers and storms around Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and into Sunday. A 50% chance for scattered showers and storms uh, any time during the day. And the rain chance lessened, but they're still there. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as a result of that front just kind of hanging around our area. Back to you. Okay, Bob, thank you. Take-home DNA tests are exploding in popularity and making it easier for families to reconnect, even if it's for the first time. The number of people using direct mail DNA tests doubled at the end of last year, and the database of individual DNA now exceeds 12 million people, according to the MIT Technology Review. And it's not always genetic code. For some, it's about finding the roots of a family tree that wouldn't have been possible without the test. ABC 7's Adam Cellini was invited along for an emotional moment, a lifetime in the making. Chances that you're going to hit uh, what they call the DNA lottery um, are getting better. Christopher Gino Melanese was adopted by Lorraine and Gino Melanese when he was only two and a half. As far as my memory goes back, um, they're, they're the only parents I ever knew. It was a good life, one that eventually brought him to the Sun Coast, where he works here at ABC7 behind the scenes. His adoption was never a secret nor a burden, but back in August of 2017, Ancestry.com was offering a discount on their popular DNA testing kit and Chris decided to try his luck. I was extremely unfortunate. Um, when I got my results, I had two hits um, right off the top that are that are marked in, according to the way Ancestry labels them as extremely close family. In addition to Ancestry.com's 7 million person database, Chris did another test with their next closest competitor, 23andMe, with over 3 million customers. Kelly Newby is a story producer for 23andMe, reading dozens of testimonials every day. And DNA kind of cuts through all of that ambiguity 
and connects you to people that you are related to on a DNA level. But DNA only tells you who you're connected with and little about the how or why. For that, Chris turned to DNA Detectives, a Facebook group started in 2016 by professional genealogist Cece Moore. They really go hand in hand and it's a powerful combination because DNA alone isn't going to tell you much. You need to learn about the people that are sharing DNA with you. People find free help there, researching their family trees from strangers called search angels, who can be everything from attorneys to stay-at-home moms. Chris's search angel was a retired Air Force veteran in Alaska. One of the greatest honors I can do is to help somebody find the answers to the questions that they seek. Just the general knowledge of who they are and how they came to be, their history, the, it it makes a person feel complete. Together, after weeks of lining up dates, names, and addresses, they had a hit. A woman named Amy Evans, who Chris messaged on Facebook, and days later, he got a call. First words out of her mouth were, I remember you, which, wow. I know I exist in the world, but that part of my life I knew nothing about. To say I remember you, wow, I, I, exi I, I was there. That, that was just, I was there. Amy couldn't wait to meet her long-lost brother, so she grabbed her other sibling, Sean, and the two drove down from their home in Ocala. Come on out here. I'm waiting out here. 46 years of waiting and wondering comes down to this moment at a Chili's outside Ellington on a spring day. Hey, guys. I was going to say, I thought that was you guys. Hey. Right away, the group notices Amy's red hair, the same as Chris's oldest son. Amy was four when Christopher was adopted, but the DNA had another surprise. Chris was a paternal match, meaning they shared a father. Together, they deduced Chris was conceived out of wedlock. I immediately felt love for him because I thought he was my cousin, you know, and I, my heart went out to him because he was given up for adoption. I think it's fair that everyone should know where they came from, you know, no matter how it happened. And it turns out Chris was never far from his family, growing up in the same county and even going to the same malls. Look at how our lives have intersected. And Chris hopes his story gives hope to others out there who might have more questions than answers about their family tree. I started this out knowing absolutely nothing. Uh, and now I feel like I know almost everything. It's amazing. In Ellington, Adam Cellini, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Wow. What, a, what a story for Chris. Yeah. We're happy, so happy he found his family. The popularity of DNA testing may have been the result of the money the companies are spending on advertising. According to Kantar Media, Ancestry.com spent $109 million in 2016 on ads across the U.S. Stay with us. We'll have more news after this. Tonight, Trump, Mueller, the interview, will it happen? The high stakes back and forth, plus the latest deadly military plane crash, new details, what may have gone wrong. World News Tonight with David Muir, America's most watched newscast. During the past 10 years, Tidewell Hospice volunteers have provided more than 1 million hours of service. They sit with patients, giving caregivers a break. They work in offices. They take their furry friends on pet therapy visits. They even clown around. Every task performed by a volunteer makes a difference in the lives of our patients and their families. Join Tidewell's volunteer team. They're truly one in a million. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Experience the classical music celebration May 11th and 12th at the historic Sarasota Opera House. World-class musicians include guitar duo Charisma, currently touring with Andrea Bocelli. Tickets available online or by phone. Here's today's job of the day. ABC7 is seeking a part-time video news editor with a non-linear video editing and digital video background. Visit mysuncoast.com slash job of the day to apply. My California classes experience has been wonderful. My mother's a huge inspiration. Before she passed away, she would say, you should do something special for yourself. First time I saw my closet, I immediately thought, this is the best thing I've ever done for myself. I call it my Tiffany style closet. I mean, I can shop in my own closet every day. I love that. My name is Cynthia, and this is my California closet story. CashNut USA is trusted by over 2 million customers. Perfect. When I lean back, I trust that you will be there to catch me. Okay, bad idea, bad idea. Apply now at CashNetUSA.com. Money's on the way with CashNet USA. 
thanks to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, what was once impossible is happening today for thousands of patients with blood cancer. I live. I live. I live. I live. I live. She lives. Because of the research done by the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society in the battle against blood cancer. If you had a chance to support the research that is saving lives, what would you do? Coming up next week, the 13th annual Dick Vital fundraiser for pediatric cancer research. 18-year-old Kyle Peters says Vital was so good to him when he was recovering from brain cancer several years ago that he began his own fundraiser for Vital at Riverview High School. Peters says the annual gala at the Ritz-Carlton helped him and dozens of others, other young people feel less alone while enduring cancer and the painful recovery process. He was a really big confidence booster for a lot of kids going through treatment and um, this gala is a really good way of just giving the kids the spotlight that they need um, during tough situations. Vital hopes to raise three and a half million dollars in next Friday's gala which will bring the 13 year total to 25 million dollars. Such a great organization doing so much good for our community and the, yeah. and the country. It's incredible yeah. how much they raise. Yeah, and yeah. the stars that show up and all the basketball yeah. coaches. And Kevin Agandi, our own Kevin Agandi, used to do sports here. He will be the host once again. Oh, he okay. did a great job last year. Awesome. Yeah. World News Tonight with David Muir is next. We'll see you again at 11. Have a good night. first handful of pills and that's when all my priorities seemed to change. He would ask to use the bathroom in other people's homes. He just assumed that they would have medication. He'd go in their medicine cabinets and steal prescription drugs. I wish I knew really what these prescription pills were. We were so naive about the whole drug thing. These are all synthetic forms of heroin. Keep your medication locked up because you'll never notice that a pill is gone. Mind your meds. Learn more from the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. Designers do it with style. Tell me what's going on here. Because Why y'all don't like my hair? The Mark and Mandy Show. In-depth design ideas. What is up with the tuck tape here? Let's cover it up. Amazing beauty and fashion tips. So Halle Berry has amazing skin. She Her secret it. is coffee ground. No. Delicious recipes. Today I'm going to show you a special dish that is sure to please that special someone in your life. Watch the Mark and Mandy Show right here on your favorite channel. <laughs> Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Want the latest weather and traffic conditions wherever you go? Introducing ABC 7's revolutionary new First Alert weather app. With our state-of-the-art new weather app, you get up-to-the-minute weather alerts, interactive radar maps, current conditions, 10-day forecasts, real-time traffic maps, and weather video from ABC 7, all at your fingertips. And it's free. Just search Suncoast WX in the App Store and download onto all your devices today. Sponsored by Mr. Sparky. Picking out a new ceiling fan? That's a do-it-yourself. Installing your new ceiling fan? No. That's a don't do-it-yourself. For ceiling fans, rewires, or anything electrical, play it safe. And call on the trained electricians from your locally owned Mr. Sparky. It's no accident that so many of our customers are repeat customers. Thank you. You Trust Mr. Sparky for all your electrical repairs. Call 888-8-SPARKY.